for the 3D circle slider. We've got some nice effects here. Check how cool this is. Nice, and then that loads. So we've got a uh, hover color we can change there. We can change the purple background here. Uh, and then of course there's the diagonal line that's over there. Most of this will be in the master CSS color changer. Uh, and that's where we're going to start. So change the purple circle color. I'm just gonna uh, change that to a green and then change the line behind the circle. Uh, let's do that. Uh, we'll just do a mint green. Here we go. And then the control arrows. Uh, we probably want to do that as a bright green. So let's have a look here. There we go. There's a bright green. And let's uh, put it in there. Here we go. All set. And then all we're going to do is copy this and then we're going to paste it into the custom CSS box for the page. So uh, there we go, uh, page specific, then we can save an update and then let's uh, update the page and let's have a quick look and then we can look at the other elements. So there you can see that's updated. These have all updated and let's click next and we've got the same result. Brilliant. Okay. so. How do you change the other items on the slider? You're just going to click this open. Then the important thing we want to pay attention to is to upload the slider images in the right size for, for the best result. So it's 1801 by 760. So let's go with that. Uh, you want to prepare them beforehand. Let's look at one of these. So we, you can just open it, then you can name it, uh, button text is then button, and then you can uh, go through these settings and see if there's anything that you want to update, or the behavior of it, or anything like that. Nothing in custom here, so let's click save. And then for the module settings itself, probably I would recommend that you look at the Divi uh, tutorial documentation uh, for the slider module settings if you want to understand how all of these work um, let's have a look further nothing that jumps out and then we're just going to look in advanced uh, that's just font weight padding nothing important here uh, so i think we can close this one out let's do a final update let's reload the page and I think we are set for this module. So that's how you update it. Thanks for watching.